before this moment you have been many things to one another, friend, fiance, but now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold in life and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. You inspire me every day to be better than the person I was the day prior. You have shown me how to love and how to find the positive and brighter things in life. From the rainy Seahawks games to our first time being in Hawaii, to the sunny days watching spring training, and to many more adventures, I am so grateful and blessed to do these adventures. With you, the love of my life, my best friend, and now as of today, my wife. Thank you for all the love and support you've given me, the love you have for me, being the best team player, and thank you for picking up all the lost pieces I had in my life and putting them back together. You have made me the happiest person alive, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was coming into a house and knowing instantly that I was home. You're my safe place, you're my best friend, and you're always my biggest cheerleader. Thank you for always supporting me and my crazy ideas. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of the man, the husband, the father, the den leader, and the coach to every sport the boys ask you to play. I love you forever, no matter what.
On behalf of Tyler, Cameron, and their families, I would like to thank all of you for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the effort that it takes, not only to be a part of this day, but to be a part of each other's lives. Cameron and Tyler have invited you here to this beautiful place to show you a glimpse of an important piece of their love. Whenever we attend a wedding, we are given the opportunity to reflect on our own relationships. We might look at the couple before us and be tempted to compare their love to the quality of our own relationships. The truth is that every relationship is as unique as the individuals in it. But one thing holds true. For love to exist between two people, each person must allow the vulner vulnerability of giving his or her love to the other, and each must be open to receiving the other's love in turn. No one but you can declare yourselves married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows before your family and friends, and you will do it again in the days and years to come. Standing by each other, sharing the highs and lows of life. My hope for you is this, may you have many long years to delight in each other's company, and to love and be loved by friends and family who have come here today to support you. May you make a home together, together, that is once sheltering and warmer. May you each do meaningful, productive work at home and in the world, learning from your failures and growing in your accomplishments. May life's challenges be met together with courage and optimism, and may your days be filled with laughter, imagination, trust, friendship, and love. It's now my honor and privilege to declare you husband and wife, and you may now seal your vows with a kiss. We won't budge 
draw the breeze like the tides from the sea always come faithfully when love comes my way i'll live in color no more gray when like to tell Cameron how blessed I am and thankful I am to be your mom and how proud I am uh, and the boys and I are of the man and the dad that you are. You're amazing. Um, we're very lucky, Tyler, that you've joined our family to complete us. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, except when she's right. <laughs> Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So this is what I hope for you both. Cheers to Cameron and Tyler. Hi. I'm a man of few words, so I can not, not that eloquent at all. But I'd like to say Tyler. You got it, bud. I know we kid about favorite daughters. Between you and all of them, but you're all my favorite, but you are... Um, but uh, Tyler, the mom you became, inspires everybody around you. And Cameron, the dad that you are to the boys, is unquestionably the most passionate and loving father I've seen. So, I love you both. Tyler, I'm going to try to get through this without crying and make it short and sweet. But I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> You truly are my best friend and the best sister anyone could ask for. You're a fighter, provider, protector, and my favorite person to drink twisted teas with. <laughs> Thank you for being the person I can call when times get tough and keeping all my secrets from mom. <laughs> Congratulations to you both on this next chapter. So if we could all raise our glasses. To Tyler and my new brother Cameron, there are plenty of fish in the sea, <laughs> and I'm glad, I'm glad you caught each other. Cheers. Turn it up and let me lose control 